and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about Alien Clay by Adrian Chafosky which I was kindly on the book tour for and I got a physical copy to participate on the book tour which I'm super happy and excited about. So the book tour has already been and gone so I've shared some of my thoughts over on Instagram if you are interested and as usual I have my Goodreads and Storygraph linked down in the description for you guys or just on my channel in general if you are interested in more of a written format as opposed to a video format. But this is a kind of like high sci-fi I guess you would call it like first encounters um eco science based sci-fi I would say welcome to kiln a harsh and unforgiven world home to the tyrannical mandate regime's prison colony but the planet holds another secret humanity is not the first intelligent life to set foot there in the midst of a ravenous chaotic ecosystem are the ruins of an ancient civilization but who were the builders and where did they go for inmates such as ecologist and political dissident Professor Artan Dugdave, the journey to Kiln is a one-way trip, but if he can survive both the harsh rule of the camp commandant and the alien horrors of the world around him, Artan has a chance of making a discovery that might just transform not only the planet, but humanity as well. This is, as far as I'm aware, a standalone novel, so it packs a punch, it, you know, you meet characters, you lose characters, everything is wrapped up in this but it does feel like it could have an expansion at a later date if you know Chavosky so chose to but it is a satisfying novel in and of itself the story was absolutely fantastic I feel like there's so much that this story went into that my mind can't truly possibly fathom but from what I did understand it was absolutely fantastic in tone it almost felt like a sci-fi murder mystery and a lot of the time because they're on this planet that it's not really easy at all to escape it does feel very you know close encounters um anyone could be you know after you anyone could have ulterior motives and it really ramped up the atmosphere in that you're already on a possibly hostile environment with a species that are alien to you and you know your body and the insides as well just can't deal with the outside environment naturally so it's everything is at risk you know one one fault and that could be the end of you so that as well as suspicious people on there and the fact that this is a whole prison colony um sent to basically work for the government like free labor if you know what i mean is it just ramps it up even more it's funny because it's not actually like agatha christie murder mystery but i don't really know how else to describe it other than the the essence that a murder mystery would give but in a sci-fi format it gives that kind of uh, atmosphere i would say alien clay definitely solidified the fact for me that i absolutely adore this blend of ecology and first encounters with aliens kind of mixed together woven together in terms of the narrative it's just this combination that satisfies an itch for me in my brain and alien clay definitely did that for me as well a little bit about arton our main character i think really when it comes down to it he was basically imprisoned for thinking differently and kind of being adjacent to you know a rebel and the government didn't like that so they shipped him away to some place that his voice couldn't make any waves and honestly it was so enjoyable to see that he throughout pretty much still kind of kept his um jovial nature his good naturedness circumstances that he found himself in this boisterous inquisitive personality he had did come across really well because i was um blended reading with this i physically read and i did the audible book as well the narrator got that across quite well adjacent to that i really enjoyed this kind of sinister undertones but playful in execution um foreshadowing that he did within his with well the chapters are only from him i was going to say within his chapters but it was like well this is yet to come and it was like it was to allude to something worse happening but he it did it in such a a fun way you know it was like oh god i'm a bit nervous but at the same time it's like it felt like it could be a prank but not he just felt very 
boisterous with it you know the characters art and meets along the way definitely added a great deal of varying personality traits amongst each other you know we had a lot of clashing we had some you know friendships companionships for convenience it was it felt very real especially considering the situation and circumstances that they'd found themselves in added a great deal of excellently executed detention especially when you consider a lot of these people he knew back on earth they kind of ran in the same circles and especially when he first came onto this planet of kiln it was like there's this silent kind of suspicion of did you rat me out are you the reason i'm here and it's almost passive aggressive in tone and it just feels like it's getting more and more tense until they kind of you know they have a bust up or they have a conversation to kind of clear the air but really you know someone's going to say whatever they can say to get themselves out of a situation whether or not it was them that ratted the other person out so there's always this sense of hostility and tension and just an uncomfortable atmosphere which was written so well let's talk a little bit now about the planet of kiln itself it sounded so terrifyingly beautiful like a eden of sorts just it just sounded amazing it sounded wonderful and exotic and just lush but in ways that maybe the humans wouldn't have found lush resources that they wouldn't necessarily have deemed beautiful so to speak from the basic eyes that we have you know we are regular observer in chapters where we had art on speaking to other um characters within the within the book it sounded absolutely dire uninhabitable just dreary deadly but once art and explored more of the planet came to know it on a more cellular level it just sounded like it was this beautiful hub of knowledge this vault of knowledge and beauty and it really did change my perspective of how it was described to be you know it was definitely an intelligent novel i definitely did not get everything every you know piece of commentary every political piece of intrigue but from the bits that i garnered from it and from the just overall enjoyment of the storytelling the characters the the way the the plot evolved i absolutely adored this would highly recommend it i gave it a five out of five stars and yes on to the next Travosky book because i feel like i've been working my way through quite a few of his i've been reading the oh i can't remember the name of the trilogy now reading two trilogies of his at the moment anyway the one with the bear and the serpent uh echoes of the four i think it's called and the other one but i can't remember off the top of my head so yes that is it for today's video do let me know if you have read alien clay yourself and what you thought about it anything similar like this that you think i might enjoy that you'd like to recommend do let me know but for now i shall catch you in another video soon bye <laughs>